uh, the the in-game advertisement issue. Ah, darn it, darn it, darn it. I meant to talk about it on the show. We'll talk about it now. Uh, spoiler alert, my hot take is I, I get the, what they're going with with the advertisement. Do I think that we should learn from it and, and make it better? Absolutely. But I think that uh, the, what people... How people react to it is, first of all, I think shows a lot of lack of understanding about the situation, but also reveals what's wrong with the actual advertisement. So, first of all, let's talk a little bit about why it happened at all. Um, it happened because CCP believes very strongly now in what they call the magic moment which is the idea that, you know, in, in conventional thinking... Wait, there's a Korak at the... Here, let's just do this. Uh, the, in conventional thinking, if a person gets ganked by another player in the first month of their gameplay, that would piss them off and make them not want to play. But what has been kind of sussed out by CCP, at least what they believe now, is that players that don't get ganked by somebody, or at least have some sort of bad negative event occur to them relatively quickly in their EVE Online time, get bored and therefore quit without thinking that there's anything exciting. That gank, that death, is your first exposure to the community and how important it is. Um, and so they've developed over time a lot of support to not only create that magic moment, but also provide uh, support at that time. So one of the ones that was uh, kind of famous a couple of years ago was that they changed their, their GMs to try to message people right after they died. Um, it was jokingly reported as being grief counseling uh, by the gaming media. But really, it was just, you know, they wanted to make sure that the GMs message people in particularly if they die. Um, or at least, like, maybe if they get killed, if they die uh, in the first, like, 10 days, then that flags the GM to message them next, basically. Um, so... The, there's two things, there's two primary complaints that I see about this box, this, this pop-up, uh, that I've heard. And, and oh, probably pretty soon I'll see the pop-up, so we'll be able to show it then. Uh, the first thing is that it is a pop-up at all. Um, and that a lot, some people are complaining about, um, you know, whatever. Then... The other thing is the idea that they feel like this is pay to win or 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 suggesting pay to win um, all the way to the point where there was a lot of people that seem to completely misunderstand it. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the the line at the very beginning. Roar Nation, thank you for joining us down the rabbit hole with Steve Online. At the very top, it says um, uh it says, get your ship back and get your revenge. And so this caused people to believe, especially given what happened in Echoes, that this, that if you paid $5, you would literally get your ship back. Like it would trigger the reimbursement program through the GM. Uh, and a lot of people reacted as if that was true. My understanding is that is not true. So what it is, is that you get, it's a small plex deal, basically. <laughs> Uh, it's a $5 plex pack that they offer you at the very beginning, the first time you die, in order to have enough money to, to get a ship again. And probably something a little bit better. Or maybe, I don't know. Um, so, that first problem isn't really a problem at all. Right? It's not pay to win. It's not suggesting it is. It's not 
the final straw. It's not making magic ships or anything like that. That entire piece of it is not true at all. The problem with it is, is that the bullet point is in the same spot. Like, or the way it works is, hold on. Let me pull up the thing. So. Uh, no. Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah, so in the ad, this is a terrible way to showing it, but whatever. In the ad, it says, recover your loss and get revenge on the top bullet point. And that, that's the problem, right? If it, if it didn't say that, it wouldn't be a big problem. It does, so it's a pro so people interpret it that way. So like, if, even if that was like at the top, like as part of this flavor text at the top, that's fine. That would be fine. But having it be in the bullets with the rest of the actual tangible items that you get uh, is what makes people think it's weird. Even the comeback stronger and better is fine because the other things kind of do it. It would also be nice if it came with like a standard cerebral accelerator, so that way they could actually come back stronger. But whatever. Um, just the fact that they mix together concepts with tangible goods is really problematic for the ad itself. That's, that's point one. Um, all right, let me disappear this again. Uh, <clears throat> but to the other point, the, uh, the, the whole idea of like, the pay to win or trying to pump somebody for money right as they have a loss like honestly like yeah okay fine they pump like so, like it seems very logical to me for a free to play game to offer you a five dollar pack when you lose like that's man i don't like what locals looking like Uh, why is the PCU so low now? That's an interesting question. There's a lot of pieces to that. I'll be I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, it should come up for Omega accounts. I think it's just going to come up the first time you die, regardless of when it happens now. But we'll see. Why aren't they coming in, man? Berg has to come. Yeah, <clears throat> it was badly presented, which brings me to the second point, which is that the real issue here is that like, I get what they're trying to do, and putting that thing right there at, that mo at the magic moment time is a good idea because it gets them to, like, forward thinking. But I think that it would have been best if it wasn't a advertisement for a purchase first and foremost. I think it would be cooler, way cooler if it um, simply introduced the... Uh, the eve academy and the educational tools to get better and as part of the eve academy have like a new package that is five dollars that has these things so that way when you're dying what you're pointed to is the eve academy website not a promotion and then tie the promotion to the use of the eve academy website especially if they're going to be like making a big deal about the eve academy big enough of a deal to go make presentations about it at like some convention or whatever um i think that i think that that would have been a lot 
better as an ultimate, like just to just to solve the actual problem, right? Because the thing is that congratulations, you've detected when they lose their first ship. There's so much more that we can get done to help out that person and to retain that player than just offering them the plex to get back involved. I do feel like giving them that offer is important. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I feel like it should be part of a welcome to Eve. Now here's how you can, you can, you know, get good. And again, then you can have those recovery packages be part of the Eve Academy, even. And you know, like there even is like if you go here, the Eve Academy was highlighted here. I guess it's not here anymore. Oh well. But for a little while they had the Eve Academy here. Putting in the work to rebuild is the drive that lets people stay. Well, that's true, but the the thing is is that like a lot of people make the mistake of keeping all of their stuff in the top thing. So honestly, that first death might is likely not going to be from another player. It's going to be that guy who upgraded their stuff and to you know like sold everything they had in order to buy the next tier of ship so he could run level 3 missions and then got got it lost. And now he's devastated or the guy who went into the abyss and got it lost or whatever. And so I I do think that like giving them an easy answer especially in a free again in a free to play game so this person has committed nothing to the game and offering them a five dollar solution to at least keep going and maybe come back a little bit stronger than they were before depending on how early this happens i don't think that that by itself is a bad big problem i think two is my has joined us or two is and two is mtv thank you for joining us down the rabbit hole with Steve online Um, well, I think that there's a big, 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 big difference between Candy Crush and EVE Online. Um, the key here is, is that this isn't introducing anything that is new, right? The idea that somebody just buys Plex in order to refund their ship and, you know, get out there again. Like, this is, that's the whole point of Plex. So, like, acting like that's, like, the, the, the great heresy, I feel, is very, like, drive active. That, that's... That should that isn't where our outrage should be should be focused. I think that it's more important about how that advertisement needs to be more than just the plex, because that doesn't fix the problem. That's my focus about it, right? Like you want to give them an answer, otherwise, then they're going to just interpret that as all they want me to do is just keep buying ships to lose them. And that isn't great. I need to fix this multi-stream post. There is a skin giveaway giving, going on right now. Exclamation point plunder for your chance to win. Eve is a good game, but never underestimate CSP's ability to ruin it. I mean, I don't think an advertisement is going to ruin it. There's no new violation. The pop-up thing, like, I can see some people get that, but, like, that moment is so important. I don't actually mind the idea of a pop-up. I just wanted to send them to Academy. I, I get exactly why CCP put the advertisement at the moment of first death. I think that that's important. I also think that if CCP really wants that <clears throat> ad to work, I think that it'd be cool if CCP gave better feedback. So rather than just say, oh, it's too bad you lost your ship, they say, hey, you know, Maybe detect some certain things. Like, what do you, what can you tell the player about what put their ship in danger? Were they in low sec? Was it a player that killed them? Was it a 
Were, was their ship too valuable? Were they in a mission? Was it Rasnaborg or Triglavian? Was it, you know, in a wormhole? Like, what, what can you tell them just based on what you know about their loss to help them learn the game and, and understand that their loss wasn't the game being unfair, but just the beginning of their journey? That's the point. 